Good morning, guys. It is 7.54, I think it is. And Darius and I are heading out. Well, I should also say, hey guys, welcome back to part two of our Mind Darius's anniversary vlog. Right now we are in South Dakota. Today we are going to five locations. We were supposed to go to two locations yesterday, but we're in the last vlog, but we only made it to one. We are leaving the hotel now to start our adventures today. Darius and I did come to this park last night, the Gitche Manitou State Preserve in Iowa. But when we got here, it was, we kind of got sketched out by um, some people and we didn't feel comfortable. So we left, went to the hotel, stayed there for the rest of the night. And so I come here early in the morning since it's Monday. So mostly everyone's at work and it's, a little after eight, so who would really come to here? They were not kidding when I said that it's covered in graffiti. It's not just the ruins that's covered in graffiti, it's also the surrounding rocks and trees. But this is the ruins. Looks like it used to be just a room, it's a fireplace. That's kind of cool though. Stopping to get gas and drinks, then we're gonna head off to um, Falls Park. We are at Falls Park. This is my third time here. I'm super excited. So the only cool thing about waterfalls being lower than normal is that you can get to spots that you normally cannot when the water level is higher. We are going back to the truck, and that is because we are going to park at the parking lot that's across the falls on that side. I am so happy we came over here. There is so much better spots for parts of the falls. There's even a dand I didn't know about.
there's always something good and bad about um, low water levels and high water levels for waterfalls. For high water levels, it's fun because you get like a lot of water and a lot of like action, but it's bad because you don't get that many different angles. For low water levels, for good, you get a whole lot of different angles you can choose from. Bad, there's not a whole lot of water flow. I like them both for the good, both, I like them both because they both have good, for those good reasons. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you like the high waters or low waters for um, a waterfall? This looks cool and all, but let me show you something cooler. I suppose we'll follow this weirdo again. I just thought y'all might want to see some duckies. Right now we are at Blue Mounds State Park. From our last location we were at, it's a 38 minute drive. We left there at 12.02 and it's 1.30 now. We could not figure out where the entrance is to this place. We got so lost at Blue Mountain Creek State Park. We're only going to see the, floor, the dam here. Sadly, um, the dam is not running a whole lot. From my understanding, it's, just, it's only a seasonal dam, so it only flows after a rainfall, a heavy rainfall, and s snow melting. And then we're going to explore some rock um, formations here, and that's it for this park. To get to the dam at Blue Mound State Park, you want to go down the road towards the, the campsite. And before, right before you hit the campsite, there's a parking lot for the amphitheater. And then you go down the street, that trail, not that one. And just follow that trail all the way down. So the rock formation and the dam are nowhere near each other. To get to the rock formation, you have to drive out of the state park. So we will see you guys when we get to the rock formation.
we are just going to see the rock formations. And then after that, we are going to head up off to Split Rock Creek State Park. It's kind of funny because Minnesota has four Split Rock Parks. Split Rock Lighthouse State Park, Split Rock River, Split Rock Creek, and Split Rock Creek State Park. Perfect, a map. So I can show you guys where we are. This is the campsites. You park like right here between here and here somewhere, and that's where you park. Down here, this is the dam. Now where we are right now to see the cliffs is all the way down here. That's where we're going. So that's the map. It's a prairie dog. I have never seen a wild prairie dog before. Look at that view. It's a beautiful view. We found cacti. Okay, call me crazy, but I honestly did not know that cacti grows in southern Minnesota. This is the end of Blue Mountain State Park. But yeah, so we're going, we're going to head up and head to Split Rock Creek State Park. We are getting a very late lunch now. Taco John's. Food. We got potatoes Olay's, cheese sauce for potato Olay's, and tacos, beef, soft shell tacos, and then Dr. Pepper. We made it to <laughs> uh, Split Rock Creek State Park. Thankfully, uh, there's a parking spot right here so we can get to the dam and bridge a lot faster without going through the entire state park. Sadly, the dam is not flowing. Again, this is another seasonal dam. So I'm not surprised. I, I, I kind of figured, like I knew it wasn't going to flow. I was hopeful that it was going to flow, but I already knew it wasn't, so I'm not, I'm not disappointed at all. And there's the Split Rock Creek Bridge. That's actually the name of that bridge, is Split Rock Creek Bridge. This is it. This is all the reason why we came to this state park was for it was for the damage was flowing, but it's mostly for us this cute little area. But just think of it. How cool would this be if it was actually flowing? So there's one right there. There was one over there. And there's this is another one, but I have no clue where he is. But yeah. That's a big fish. Now, if only 
see the snapping turtle I just saw comes back. This is where we're gonna leave you guys for the day. Don't worry, this video is not done. We still have one location to explore. But tonight we are going to Darius's brother's and his girlfriend's place for dinner and to play some games. And we said that we'll get there between 6 and 6.30 and we're an hour from our hotel right now. And by the time we get to our, the by the time we get to our hotel, it's gonna be 5 30 and we have to we're gonna shower and freshen up. And then from our hotel to his brother's, it's another hour. It's much longer. We would spend 15 minutes here and we spent a lot longer than 15 minutes. So we're gonna rush to the hotel now to freshen up, change, and all that fun stuff. Tomorrow we are going to go to our last location, which is Pipestone. It is almost 12 o'clock and we finally just got back um, from seeing Darius' brother and his girlfriend. It was a lot of fun. Darius made dinner. We played Cards Against Humanity. He just, I know, it was a really nice night. Also, today I found out, you can't really tell much in the video, but my forehead is sunburnt, so is my nose. And the most dreadful thing, I tanned. Uh, that's one thing I was hoping would not happen because I don't want to tan. No, thank you. But yeah, Darius and I are just going to hang out. I think we'll put a movie on, cuddle, and then go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the vlog so far for part two. Morning, guys. Darius and I are heading out. We just packed the truck. Darius is going in right now to check out the hotel. We are now at Pipestone National Monument. Not monument. Monument. Mon monument, whatever, monument. We are gonna go inside the building. So funny.
so that is not only the end for this video, but for our trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this two-part trip of ours. It was a lot of fun exploring these locations. Falls Park from the last video and Pipestone are the only two out of the six parks that we've actually been to before. Everything else we've never been to before. So, but yeah, so that's it for now. Until next time, we'll see you later.